In this lesson, we're going to be talking about file management. Now, again, I could certainly go back to the file explorer here, and I could just start dragging and dropping things. But let me show you the console way of doing it. It's pretty easy, actually. There's a couple of commands that you're going to want to know. So let's go back to our file that we were playing around with before. Right now, I'm in my home directory. I use the PWD, which is print working directory, and it told me I'm in my home directory. Let me actually copy this file, and I'm going to copy it into downloads. You can see that it's still here. And if I did an ls minus la downloads, you can see that it's there as well. Same file, and I've got two copies of it. One is in my home directory, and one is in the downloads directory. Now let me just remove the one in the downloads directory. rm is for remove, and I'm just going to remove that one. If I wanted to actually move it, I could move it into downloads. And now if I do ls minus la, I get no such file or directory. If I do ls minus la downloads, now I've got the file there. So I've got my move, I've got my copy, and let me actually rename the file that's there. So I'm going to change directory into the downloads directory and I'm going to move Rick into my file. Now I've renamed the file. It no longer is Rick, it's now my file. And I can actually move it. And if I do a dot dot, it's gonna move it up a directory. So you can see it's gone now. And I'm gonna jump up one directory level. So I'm not in downloads anymore. And you can see my prompt has actually changed. It no longer says downloads. It now just says wiggle, and wiggle is in Unix or Linux terminology. Wiggle just means home. So I'm in my home directory, and I can just show you that. And if I do an ls minus la on my file, because of course that's what it's called now, you can see that my file is now back in home. So I've got cp, and I've got move. And move not only moves things, but it renames them as well because you're moving it to a different file name, if you think about it that way. And I've also got, we also looked at rm. If I wanted to remove my file, I could remove my file, and then it would be gone. Now, when I'm at the command line, removing deletes it. Doesn't go to a recycle bin so you can bring it back later. It flat out deletes it. So if I wanted to make sure before I deleted something, I could do rm minus i. So let's see what I've got here. So I could do rm minus i examples dot desktop. And I showed you this earlier with an alias. If I did rm minus i, it says, do you really want to remove this? So it's going to prompt us to make sure that we actually want to remove it before we go delete it. Because deleting it like that is permanent. Can't get it back from going to a trash bin or a recycle bin or anything like that. It's just gone.